law. Aim to study the variation of volume with pressure of a constant mass of gas at constant temperature. Materials required Stand Quill tube Meter scale Apparatus familiarization the quill tube is a thin tube of length 50 cm, a pellet of mercury of length 10 cm is placed at the center of the tube. Procedure Horizontal Position Place the quill tube horizontally on a stand using a clamp. Here, the atmospheric pressure is 76 cm of mercury. Take the meter scale from the table and measure the length of air column. It is found to be 20 cm. Now, measure the height of the mercury thread from the table to both its ends by using the meter scale. Both the values are equal. Here, H1 and H2 is 30 cm. H is equal to H2 minus H1. That is equal to 30 minus 30, which is equal to 0. The length of the air column L is equal to 20 cm. So pressure P is equal to H plus 0, which is equal to 76 cm of mercury. Record the observations and calculations in a tabular column and find the value of P into L. Slanting position with open end upwards. Place the quill tube in a slanting position with open end upwards. Measure the values of L, H1 and H2 using the meter scale. It can be noted that the length of the air column L is equal to 18 centimeters. H1 is equal to 25.7 cm and H2 is equal to 34.3 cm. Then H is equal to H2 minus H1 which is equal to 34.3 minus 25.7 which is equal to 8.6 cm. Then the pressure of enclosed air can be calculated as P is equal to H plus H which is equal to 76 plus 8.6 which is equal to 84.6 cm of mercury. Record the observations and calculations in a tabular column and find P into L using the values. Vertical position with open end upwards. Now, Place the quill tube vertically with its open end pointing in the upward direction and take the measurements as L is equal to 17.7 cm, H1 is equal to 25 cm and H2 is equal to 35 cm. The length of the air column L is equal to 17.7 cm, H1 is equal to 25 cm and H2 is equal to 35 cm. Then H is equal to H2 minus H1 which is equal to 35 minus 25 which is equal to 10 cm. Then the pressure of enclosed air can be calculated as P is equal to H plus H is equal to 76 plus 10 which is equal to 86 centimeters of mercury. Record the observations and calculations in the tabular column and find the value of P into L. Slanting position with open end downwards. Change the quill tube to a slanting position such that its open end is pointing downwards. Measure the values as L is equal to 22.6 cm, H1 is equal to 34.3 cm and H2 is equal to 25.7 cm. The length of the air column L is equal to 22.6 cm, H1 is equal to 34.3 cm and H2 is equal to 25.7 cm. Then H is equal to H2 minus H1 which is equal to 25.7 minus 
34.3 which is equal to minus 8.6 centimeters then the pressure of enclosed air can be calculated as p is equal to h plus h which is equal to 76 minus 8.6 which is equal to 67.4 centimeters of mercury record the observed and calculated values in the tabular column and calculate p into l vertical position with open end downwards place the quill tube vertically with its open end pointing downwards then measure the values of l h1 and h2 here the length of the air column l is equal to 23 centimeters and h2 is equal to 25 centimeters H1 is equal to 35 centimeters. Then H is equal to H2 minus H1, which is equal to 25 minus 35, which is equal to minus 10 centimeters. Then the pressure of enclosed air can be calculated as P is equal to H plus H, which is equal to 76 minus 10, which is equal to 66 centimeters of mercury. Record the measured and calculated values in a tabular column and find the values of P into L. We can now plot a graph with pressure along x-axis and reciprocal of length along y-axis. The graph is a straight line. Result A graph between P and 1 by L is drawn. It is found to be a straight line. P into L is a constant. This verifies Boyle's law.